Today, we're gonna be putting these six Lego boats to the ultimate test and we're gonna determine whether or not they float. You guys are gonna wanna stay tuned because this is not something that you're gonna wanna miss. So the six LEGO boats that we're going to be testing today include the LEGO Ninjago Destiny's Bounty Pirate Ship, aka Spaceship, from 2023, the C-26 Sea Cutter from 1996, the Fire Rescue Boat from 2023, the Speed Boat from the Hurricane Harbor set, also from 1996, the Green Dinghy from the Fire Rescue Boat, as well as the Yellow Kayak from the Kayak Adventure set from 2019. We're going to be testing these boats in order from smallest to largest, but before we do, don't forget to leave your predictions down in the comments below for which boats will float or not. All right, you guys, so the very first boat that we're gonna test out here today is this yellow Lego kayak from the 2019 Kayak Adventure set. You guys can see it's got one minifigure here, a little camera on the front so it can record its adventure, and of course the paddles. I unfortunately don't have much hope for this one, and RIP that camera on the front. So let's test it out and see whether or not it floats. All right, I'm gonna set it in. Oh, look at that. You guys can see this kayak did not float whatsoever. As soon as it got in the water here, it pretty much just capsized. You guys can see his camera is absolutely ruined. It is soaked. He's honestly practically drowning. It doesn't didn't even stay upright. I know I didn't get it set in very nicely, but you guys, it doesn't float. It is a fail. So the next boat that we're gonna test out today to see if it floats is this green dinghy from the new 2023 LEGO Fire Rescue set. This is the first of the two boats we're gonna test from that set today, and this one I have pretty good hopes for. You guys can see it does have a decent hull on it. It is brick built, and it doesn't really have the typical flotation devices that a lot of the hulls would have, but I still do have hope for this one just because it looks very floatable. Oh, look at that, I think it floats. Actually, I take that back. I think the back here is really filling up with water. As much as I thought this set would float, given it, it looks like a flotation device, I'm actually gonna fail this one just because the back is filling up with water there. While it is technically floating and the minifigure is upright, it just, I wouldn't wanna be on this boat considering all my belongings would now be wet. So this doesn't, this is not a floater. Unfortunately, this one is a fail. And the next boat that we're gonna be testing today is this Lego Hurricane Harbor speedboat. This one came out before I was even born to start testing Lego boats to see whether or not they would float. This one again is all brick built. It's even more brick built than the last one that didn't float. So unfortunately, I personally don't really have high hopes for this one, but I feel like it could potentially surprise me. All right, let's put this guy in the water here. Whoa, and you know what? I will actually give this one a pass and say it does float. Even though this one is completely brick built, as you guys can see, it is staying upright. Uh-oh, I think I may have spoken too soon. Just as I was about to grab this one from the water, it actually went and capsized. This does not look like a boat that I would want floating here in my Lego city or in my Lego, it's not a boat I'd want to be on. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to change this one from a float to a failure. Mm -hmm. So the fourth boat that we're gonna be testing out today is the Lego Fire Boat from the Fire Rescue Set, this that came out this year. This is the second boat, obviously, from the set we're testing out, and this one truly is a heater, and like, get it, because it is a fire set. A heater of a boat, this one's really awesome. Absolutely no doubt that this one's gonna float because it does come with a Lego hull piece. So I think this one should be a cut and dry float, but let's, of course, test it out just to make sure. All right, so I did set this one in a little wonky, so the back did get some water in it, but that was totally my fault. That is not the boat. This one is a floater. This one floats really, really well. If I had to be on any of the LEGO boats that I've tested so far, this one would definitely be it. Like, it is floating absolutely perfect there. What a good set. Oh, this is, this is a first finally, a float. I'm really excited. Next up, we're testing another LEGO boat from 1996. This is the C26 Sea Cutter. This one as well has a beautiful LEGO hull piece that I think is designed to float. And unlike any of the other boats that we're testing today, this one actually is weighted down with special weighted LEGO bricks on the inside. So I'm really interested to see how this one will float because I've never tested a LEGO boat before that has weights in it. So let's check it out. Oh, look at that, wow. So obviously this one is a float, no question. And this is actually, I think, one of the best floating Lego boats I've ever seen of all my years of testing out the boats. You guys can see with the weighted bricks in it, it actually stays up perfectly right. It's balanced right in the center so that it is perfectly floatable. Even with the fire rescue boat that I tested a few minutes ago, the water is pretty much up to the hull, but this one is not the case. You guys can see the water is not even close to the hull. This is a very, very safe Lego boat that I would for sure get on and test out absolutely no problem. 
boat. This one is definitely the best floating Lego boat we've seen so far. So it seems like Lego sets have gotten worse at floating since 1996. Interesting. And finally, last but not least, we have this sixth Lego boat that we're gonna be testing today. This is the Lego Ninjago's Destiny's Bounty Airship. It's kind of like a pirate ship. It's kind of a spaceship. It's pretty cool. Because it's basically a spaceship, I don't think it's gonna float very well. The other Ninjago's Destiny's Bounty from 2019 also didn't float very well. So this one, we'll have to see if Lego has improved its boat skills since then. But given the other results we've seen, I don't think that'll be the case. All right, airship is in. All right, look at that. So the front of the boat is immediately filling up with water and the whole thing has just capsized. Oh, wow. You guys can see the top actually fell off this set right away. It is not staying upright whatsoever. The whole thing has capsized and come down. This is not a Lego boat that I would ever want to get on. I guess it should stick to flying and being a spaceship because it is a failure. It is not a floating Lego set whatsoever. And there we have it folks, unfortunately four of the six Lego boats that we tested in today's video did not float. They did not withstand the test that we needed to pass and for me to feel safe and comfortable getting on the boat. So unfortunately today the only ones that did pass were the C26 Sea Cutter as well as the Fire Boat from 2023. Very, very interesting. We've got the newest boat we tested out and the oldest boat we tested out and none of the ones in between passed. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for checking out today's video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course subscribe. And you guys are going to want to subscribe because this year I am doing something crazy. Next week, I am putting the second largest Lego set ever made, the Lego Titanic, to the ultimate test, and we're going to see whether or not it floats. You guys are not going to want to miss out. Of course, thanks again for watching, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here in the next video.